assalamu alaikum everyone i hope you are all having a wonderful day in today's video i am going to show you how to transfer data from one android phone to another using two simple methods with these two methods you can transfer your contacts messages photos videos everything from your old android phone to your new android phone and that is coming up uh. Here are the methods that I am going to cover in this video. Our first method will be using quick setup feature and our second method will be using a third party software. So let's start the video with our first method. Our first method is using quick setup feature. For this method to work, you don't need a computer, but there are some requirements. Number one, you have to erase your new Android phone. You have to reset it in short and number two, your both phones must be connected to the same Wi-Fi network. And number three, this is not a requirement, by the way, this is a warning. This process takes very long time, especially if your data is too big. If you meet these requirements, then this method will work. If not, then watch the second method. For second method, you don't have to erase your Android phone or in short, these requirements are not needed. So let me show you how this method works. Okay, first of all, make sure your both phones have enough charge. Then erase your new phone by going to settings search for reset select reset option then select factory data reset click on ok tap on delete all now wait for your phone to restart once your phone is restarted tap on start and go through this agreement process when you come to this page, as you can see, on my old phone, this message popped up by itself. It will appear when your both phones are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. Now on your old phone, tap on setup, continue. On your new phone, tap on the first option called Galaxy or Android device. Now scan this QR code using your old phone. After that, tap on next, tap on next again. Give all the required permissions and on your old phone you have to install Samsung Smart Switch. So just tap on install. Once installed, tap on more, tap continue. Again, give all the permissions. Then tap on let's go and on your new phone tap on next and now you need to connect both your phones with each other. You can either do so by using a USB cable or using Wi-Fi. I'm going to use Wi-Fi. Then tap on connect on your old phone. Once your phones are connected with each other, now select the files that you want to transfer from your old phone. You can either select everything or you can select a particular type of data. In my case, I'm going to select custom and tap on next. You can select whatever option you want. Alright, in my case, I'm going to select my calls and contacts, my messages, my images. Then tap on transfer and go through the setup process. While this process is taking place, would you please like this video and share it with your friends? For you, like and share is just a matter of clicks. But for me, it means a lot. So thank you so, so much if you do. After going through the setup process, your selected data will be transferred onto your new phone so let's see I selected my photos so as you can see these are the photos I also selected contacts and calls as you can see these are my contacts all right now let me show you the second method Our second method is using a data transfer software. For this method to work, you need a Windows or a Mac computer. And after that, you need a software called Droid Kit. You can get it from the link given in the video description below. So just click on free download and install the software into your Windows or Mac computer. After installing it, open it up. Once opened, this is the interface of the software. With this software, you can do a lot of other things. You can explore each of these options by yourself if you want. In order to transfer data from one phone to another, select Data Manager. Then click on Android Mover. Select Android to Android. Now connect both your phones to computer using your USB cable. Once 
Once your phones are connected, as you can see on the left hand side you have the source phone. This is the phone that will transfer the data and target device will receive the data. So in my case I am going to transfer data from this phone to this phone. So I am going to click on switch which will change the order. Once everything is set up, just click on migrate now. Next select the type of files that you want to transfer. So in my case I am going to select audio, calendar and ringtones. You can select other options if you want. I am selecting these options just to save time. After that click next and then wait for this transfer process to complete. Once the transferring process is completed, you will get this message. Just click on OK. During the transferring process, if you face any kind of problem, just in case, if you face any kind of problem, then click on the support button. Then click on quit ticket. Type your email address, type your issue and click on submit. And the support team of the software will get back to you within 24 hours. Okay, now you can close the software from your computer because your job is done. And now check your phones if your selected data are transferred or not. So there you have it guys, that is my video on how to transfer data from Android to Android. Please let me know which one of these two options were helpful to you. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, I would love to hear them. And also, if you learned something new from this video, then please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. You are one like and share means a world to me, so thank you so much if you do. And if you want more videos like this in the future, then please subscribe to my channel and I will catch you on the next one. Stay blessed, stay safe. Bye.